The weather's cold today. A clear example that ice on ponds and lakes may not be thick enough to go out on. A snowmobile uh, went through the ice this morning during the early morning darkness on Barry County's Gun Lake. 24 Hour News Ace Danny Carlson is there live with details on that. Danny? Well, Brett, that snowmobile is actually still underwater here at Gun Lake after two men who were riding on it came across a patch of thin ice at about 5.30 this morning after they saw some open water and tried to turn around to head back to shore. But the ice was thin. They ended up falling in the water, and the two men were actually underwater for a little bit. They came out to the land. They did not need to be rescued by rescue workers. One man was actually underwater for about 15 minutes, officials say. Now, both men were checked for hypothermia and released at the scene. And at this time of year, officials say it is not safe to assume that ice is solid, even if a lake looks like it's frozen over. Now, we're here joined by Orangeville Township Fire Chief Danny Bolter. Now, Chief Bolter, you were at the scene this morning. Can you explain to us why it's not safe to assume that the lake is totally frozen over, even if it looks like it is? With the unstable weather conditions we've had in the past few days, on Christmas Day we had rain and warm temperatures, so that doesn't allow the ice to freeze up and make good solid ice on the lakes. So on this part of the lake on the east side here, it's about 30 feet of water. And with the wind and the weather conditions, it keeps the water churned up pretty good and doesn't freeze as well on, the, say, on the west side of the lake, where now we have maybe uh, six or eight inches of ice. So you really need to know the lakes before you venture out onto them to make sure they're safe and be aware of the situation that's ahead of you. And when is it ever safe to assume that a lake is completely frozen over? Uh, I think the experts recommend about 8 to 10 inches of ice for snowmobiles, around 4 to 6 inches of ice for people to gather on ice. So, you know, you need to be aware, check the ice ahead of time, you know, drill some holes, make sure the depth and what the consistency of us on the lakes. Okay, so rather be safe, especially at this time of year. We'll keep you updated on this story as it develops throughout the day in our later newscasts and online. We're live at Gun Lake. Danny Carlson, 24-hour News 8. Back to you. Developing